The first time Victor Wimbanyama and Kevin Durant faced each other was a battle of the unicorns. But it was actually the other guys that added the finishing magic to this incredible spectacle. A year before this game, KD had said this when asked about the young phenom. He's really in trouble when he comes in. We'll, we'll, and I want to see how it plays out. And everybody's been excited for his uh, his arrival to the league. So we'll see what happens. And a couple days before their first matchup, Wemby had said this about Durant, who had been his favorite NBA player growing up. This is probably the reason why he was, you know, one of my top very favorite players ever. They're my idols, but um, they're still my opponents, so I can't, I wouldn't really allow myself to, to just entertain a relationship with, with some guys, you know, that I have to play against and to fight against someday. So, you know, there's a lot of respect, but they're still my opponents, even though they're my idols. And from there, the battle between idol and protege would ensue on the court. First of all, Devin Booker and Bradley Beal were out in this game, which was unfortunate. But this was actually perfect since it gave us a chance to watch these two unicorns battle it out on a fair playing field without the other superstars tipping the scales in Durant's favor. It all really started on the defensive end. Here, Wemby sets a flare screen at the elbow and then replaces to the left wing. When Kevin Durant pressures, Wemby attacks left into a shot fake, but the scouting report is already out on him because as soon as he does, KD immediately swipes at the fake and it's a turnover. On the other end, Victor would return the favor. In early offense, Durant sets the ball screen and then pops to the mid post. From there, it's one dribble right into a pull-up fadeaway, but Victor knows the scouting report on KD, so he goes up up and blocks the shot. From the outset, it's obvious that the two are obviously very familiar with each other's games. Since his first attack was not successful, Durant decides to isolate Victor on the right wing. He drives right, and when help comes along the baseline, KD steps back and pulls up to lace the mid-range jumper in Victor's face. Through the shot clock, Durant up and over! But KD is only getting started. Next, he decides to give Victor his welcome to the NBA moment. On this out-of-bounds play, Kevin uses this wiper action to fake out Sohan and then challenges Wimby at the rim with the emphatic dunk. Look at this. Look at this. But Victor responds saying, anything you can do, I can do better. Here, he gets the ball on the right wing and when he notices Durant closing out hard, Victor immediately attacks right, takes one dribble, and it's poor Drew Eubanks who ends up catching a body on KD's behalf. When Manyama goes right by Durant. Oh! The mark of a great player is that they are able to make their teammates better just by their presence on the court. Both Kevin and Victor were able to do this for their teammates in this game, but they both did it in different ways. First, let's look at KD. Here, Keldon Johnson gambles for the steal, and as a result, surrenders a momentary five on four advantage to the Suns. KD immediately exploits this advantage by finding Utah, who is spacing out beautifully to the right corner. Now in rotation, Watson, Nave, it's a three! That's the problem. You cannot gamble when you have all these shooters on the floor with Durant. The fact that Masai Ujiri chose to let Utah walk in favor of Juancho Hernan Gomez is evidence that even the smartest front offices in the league make the most idiotic decisions sometimes. But I digress. Durant, Hickson, Watson, again, it's good! While KD was making his teammates better primarily through draw and kick actions, Victor's approach was less obvious but just as effective. Here, Victor dives to the hoop while the Spurs run a dribble handoff for Vassell. Zach Collins sets a ball screen, but this primary action is actually a decoy for Wemby to set a flare screen on Eric Gordon, which creates a wide open three point shot for Keldon Johnson. Without Victor's flare, that shot would not have been available. After that, Wemby becomes the primary screener. But instead of walking into the ball screen, Victor plants into it and immediately begins slipping the screen. Grayson Allen tries to go under, but because Victor is now slipping and not screening, he avoids the dreaded moving screen violation while occupying two defenders and creating an open look for his teammate. These are the little things that, in the end, make the biggest difference. Basketball is a team sport where the stars and the superstars have a 
disproportionate impact over the game. More often than not, there are times where the stars struggle and must depend on their supporting cast to lift them. The first two quarters were a struggle offensively for Victor. At one point, the Spurs found themselves down 20 and Coach Popovich had to take the young giant to the side for some coaching. However, where he was lacking offensively, he more than made up for defensively. Here, Wemby is guarding KD on the perimeter. Eric Gordon comes off the ball screen and Wemby digs in on the drive. Gordon draws the help and kicks. And from there, Victor finds himself playing the gap. Grayson Allen chooses against making the extra pass to KD, which is a mistake. And Wemby blocks the three. And a block shot, blocks Allen, he's on the run. The Spurs start off at a disadvantage with one of their teammates down. Yuta swings the ball to the corner and Allen attacks the closeout. When he gets to the rim, he shot fakes. But Victor does a great job of staying down and blocks him the same way you block your little nephew while playing in the driveway. Disrespectful, yes, but also absolutely hilarious. On the other side of the floor, the Spurs had to rely on the offensive heroics of Devin Vassell and Keldon Johnson to keep their heads above water. And before you knew it, the 20-point Suns lead was beginning to dwindle. In the fourth, San Antonio began running their five-out sets. Here, all their players are outside the three-point line, which stretches the defense. Vassell gets the ball screen but rejects it. Wemby V-cuts towards the ball and pulls up for his second three of the game. Person, maybe two. Kevin to go get it at four. Buries a three. Second made three here. Momentum is shifting and the Suns need to respond, so they run a four-out ISO for KD on the right mid post. The Spurs counter with a 2-1-2 zone. Wemby comes up to blitz KD, but a simple pass faked to Nurkic and he is forced to recover back. KD then attacks middle, only to swish the pull-up over two defenders. A beautiful shot, absolutely. But if the goal is a championship, then these are the same old isolation actions that have broken down for Durant time and time again in the postseason. With 50 seconds left in the game, Wemby and the Spurs are down five. Sohan sets a screen for Victor, and Durant tells Utah to switch. Victor gets the ball in the mid-range, and he doesn't buckle under the pressure of the moment. Wimbanyama catch and shoot, he's got it. Big shot for the Spurs. Down three with 13 seconds left, Vassell pulls up from three on a broken play. But look at where Wemby is when Vassell pulls. Now tell me how he is able to be the first to crush the board for the clutch put back. No good, Wimbanyama! But no need to worry, the Suns are still up one, so they inbound the ball to KD, who is instantly triple teamed. KD decides to hold the ball instead of pass, so Keldon Johnson rips the ball from him and goes up for the athletic finish. Oh, Johnson takes it from him! Johnson hangs! Yes! And the Spurs have the lead! What did I just witness here? And to cap off the night, Keldon and Wemby work together to disrupt KD's attempt at a game winner. 1.2 to go, the catch, the shot, no good! And the Spurs win on the road for the first time this year. Wow, what a comeback! The first time Victor Wembanyama and Kevin Durant faced each other was a battle of the unicorns. Wemby arrived dressed as Slenderman and proved that he was as much a nightmare as was advertised. Subscribe if you have seen the light. There's my second. Didn't I say he was going to give us two tonight?